what is up everybody it's gorilla man here back with another farming simulator video in today's video we are back here on the ofg map i think this is episode three last episode if you guys remember we finished our harvest all the way pretty much i think by the end of the video i finished the whole harvest um i just finished collecting all of the straw that we dropped or that the swath uh swath path and in the last episode also let's see how should i go over here i'll go over here right here we did a little bit of land clearing right there in that spot and then you know what i decided that since that spot wouldn't work because there was a light pole there i had to go over here into this corner i probably should have brought this out a little bit further and I, or i could have maybe i can still cut the grass here i'll try it later if i remember um but i put it right here it's our grass silo we got a bunch of stuff in here already let me show you guys all right here we got 63,857 straw in there already hey we can sell that it's 94 bucks per bale or per thousand so it's not a lot of money it's 63 was it 100 60 it's all 63,000 60, 6300 6300 somewhere in there anyways uh yeah so we got that stored up so we can be putting uh, i think it's hay and grass and straw in there which is perfect that'll be going great because we have our animal stables right over here i might relocate it later but i'm not sure for now it costs like thirty thousand. so right now we're at one hundred forty two thousand dollars, which isn't too bad um we'll start this episode off guys we're gonna drive the 4955 over to the dealership we're gonna sell the uh cultivator that we started with i think this is a coon cultivator it's a really small one let me double check yep no it's a horse my bad so we're gonna drive this guy over we're gonna sell it and i think we might be picking up a big bud cultivator let me check really quick to see what our horsepower is sitting at so i know exactly what we can do so here's a four eighty four hundred we're at 235 so about 235 is what we're maxing at so i can go somewhere around there for cultivators um 350 300 400 what about the ones over here 190 350 so doesn't even tell us the width on it this is a nine meter 15.5 meters so we'd want to pick up one like this but that's really really expensive for now and i don't think we'll be able to pull it so we're going to start with the john deere 30 foot disc and it is a cultivator it's not like a disc ripper or anything so it'll be good in that sense so let's buy it real quick all right we're gonna buy it no yes all right so it's at the shop all we gotta do is drive over and pick it up but we're gonna drive over in the tractor yeah this thing yeah this barely has enough horsepower on i think it's 225 so we we're about 35 over but we're gonna drive this bad boy over uh there we go and we're gonna sell the current ones just so we can get that extra 20 percent sale price if you guys know about that if you sell one of the objects that you've been using you get things 20 or 10 percent extra sale price towards you so you save a bit of money um recap some of your losses so that's that's really nice in my opinion all right i think this sell point is right here so we'll just whip it up and then drop it and then pull away yep there we go 12, 5, 4. What did, we, what did we originally get that for if we were to buy it? 1400 So we only lost about 1000 bucks on it, which is not bad. Or 1500 Which isn't too terrible for using it one time. It didn't really drop the price too much. All right, then we got this bad boy. This guy is probably three times the size. So it'll be a lot easier, obviously. Um, I think I'm going to do a manual attaching. Let's see, leave a comment down below. Do you guys like manual attaching better or do you guys like the uh, automatic attaching? Uh, am I too, am I not far away? Am I too far away? There we go, yep. I kind of like manual attaching better because it's, uh, somebody brought up a really good point um, during, ooh, who's this, LBJ Modic? During the uh, Farming Simulator tournament, they said that it's way easier to do manual attaching for gravity wagons because before, I had personally always just tried to back up gravity wagons. And don't get me wrong, I'm not terrible at backing up. But backing up and trying to attach like three gravity wagons in a row when you can't even really control them is almost impossible. Almost impossible. So that's why I'm really starting to like the manual attaching. Um, if I'm just going to like pull into something that's stationary real quick and do it, I probably won't. 
But I'm just curious what you guys think of it. If you guys like manual attaching, leave a comment down below. Let me know. And I might just do it a little bit more. 70 miles an hour right here. This is not a high. This is not interstate. This is definitely a. It's like a street road. This is a little, a little quick. Uh, I guess we're in Michigan. All right, so we're gonna take this guy over, and we also are gonna need to plow soon, guys. Let me show you guys the map. So since this is like our third episode, we don't really have much going on yet. But this is what everything looks like. We have the periodic plowing on, so we do need to plow every three. Um, which really sucks, because honestly, plowing is a pain in the butt. It's like the smallest thing. Oh, we got a smash from the squad down there. It's like the smallest thing to actually use, like between cultivators. <coughs> oh, between cultivators and plows. Um, so it just takes way longer, which is really, really not fun sometimes. Let me see here. Yep, so as you can see here, field one, which is ours, I did finish completely. I might buy a mower and just I bring the roller mod in here and just redo all this grass around here because these little shrubs and trees are honestly really, really annoying and they get in the way quite a bit sometimes. Let's see, we're gonna grab the Ford under. Oh, and somebody told me about how you could uh, close up the doors and everything on this. Let me show you guys. They said, I think it was right shift, right click. Left click, left shift. Okay, it's one of these. Nope, toggle me. I gotta go back into the comments and look now. I forgot. Anyways, yeah, I figured out how to do the tilt steering wheel and close the doors, which is great. Because I was having a tough time figuring that one out. All right, so this is the one that we have for plows. So this plow is literally like two meters across, which is kind of kind of bad. Um, we have this one, it's, yep, two meters across. Um, 11 meters. Mm. Two meters again? Why is this one two meters? Oh, is this a front? That's why it's a front. It's supposed to run behind you. Ah, I see. It's a, yeah, it's a V-Ripper. All right, so I think we're going to go buy the combination ripper also. Ooh, we might need to actually... We're going to borrow 2,000 bucks real quick. Yeah, because we're going to pick up this ripper and we're going to plow the field also. All right, here, let's borrow some money. Actually, no. We'll just sell this guy we got on us right now. Yeah, I think it should be about 2000 or, or I think we need about 1500 bucks. So we'll take this guy over and we'll sell. So this is, yeah, we're going to be selling, buying, trading. We're basically doing a trade-in. Trading this guy in, being able to buy our other one. Granted, the other one's probably $100,000 more expensive, but we'll find out. Ooh, guys, the value on this is so much more. It's eleven, almost twelve thousand dollars. That's a lot more money than I thought it was worth. Actually, I thought it was only worth like a couple grand. That thing is expensive. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was gonna say I was like I thought we bought that, and then I rolled in and it's gone and not there. Ooh, about had a heart attack. So this one is two meters smaller, but it's way quicker when working. And I personally hate having to go super slow. So, we're going to do this guy. And I might not be able to actually run this one very well with my current tractor. We might have to pick up a bigger one. But for now, we're going to see if we can make it work. If we can't, it's no big deal. We'll wait till the next harvest to plow, get that yield back up. And then once we finish that harvest, we'll use everything from that harvest. We'll sell it all. And hopefully, we will have enough money. Or maybe a few harvests, actually, now that our field is super small. Hopefully I'll have enough money to go buy like an 85-30 and soup it up at somewhere around the 400 horsepower mark, or at least 350, to run this thing at its full speed. Because it can go about 12 miles an hour, which is pretty quick considering the fact that harvesting speeds are 6 miles an hour. Uh, but in other news, guys, I just saw earlier today before I started this video, Farming Simulator is now set to release on November 20th. Um, I saw that from Amazon. Amazon has it set to like pre-orders to send out by the 20th um, and to like to be like arriving then. But it kind of sucks because we had a previous date of October 5th is what it was, which is way better. It's like 
Oh, I, oh, it's so much further before, but yeah, so I'll have to wait a few more months extra, guys, which really, really honestly does kind of suck. But from my experience, you would much rather have the game fully done and polished off um, rather than them rushing it and finishing it um, because it just won't be nearly as good. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. If you guys did not know yet, Farming Simulator 2019 set to release. What was it? November 20th. But I don't know. It'll it'll be it'll be fine, guys. Okay, let's see here. Yep, we definitely want to get a bigger a bigger track. So this thing's only gonna travel at three miles an hour. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish this one like little row across here, and then um, I'll probably just take this and put it and store it in the shed for now. Dang, it is slow. It's a good it's a good width. Don't get me wrong. It'd be about ten passes, but this thing is super slow. And I'm probably not gonna just go through on this video, guys, and just only be ripping because that would take absolutely forever. All right, shut it off. Oh, that's a bummer. I thought we were gonna be able to use that one. I probably, I saw the horsepower mark as soon as I had done it. And I was like, ooh, yeah. We're probably not gonna be able to use this guy. It's all right though, it's all right. We'll just go start over here in one of the bigger sheds. All right, we'll go, we'll go right here. I think we can fit it in here all the way. Still not at the end yet. There we go. All right. Shut the tractor off right there. All right, we're gonna cultivate now. So we're gonna run our lines surrounding here first. I'll drop this one down too. I think this one's slightly bigger. Or is it the same width? Oh, hey, but this thing pulls quick. 12 miles an hour. Oh, it's kind of pulling me all around, though, if you guys can see that. My uh, front end, it is a... Uh, I do have four-wheel drive on this, but it is pulling my front end, like, off the ground. Make sure we're not cultivating anywhere outside of our lines. This thing's quick, though. Oh, my gosh. Here, I'm just going to run around here really quick. And I'm going to be done in, like, absolutely no time at all. Yeah, I'll probably just time-lapse it, actually, because this is going to be so fast. All right, guys, give me just a second. We're going to run this. That guys we are done cultivating boom that easy that quick oh did I just drop it down again <laughs> yeah there we go but yeah it's that easy that quick with a field this small takes absolutely no time I think that took me that took me like four minutes that was really really quick all right we're gonna drop this guy off oh boy all right <laughs> I about flipped her there so we're gonna drop this guy off and then we're gonna go check out prices really quick for sprayers. So we had a sprayer originally, but it was a super small one and I sold it. But looking back on it now, I probably should have kept it. But let's go look and see what we, what we can do. So, sprayers, sprayers, sprayers. There it is. All right, so the run that we really like is the John Deere R4045. Let's see what's the difference. It's probably by this one. So that'll cost us a lot more money than I thought. Wait, what's the difference? 
I think this one's the finished mod, and this one's not the finished one. All right, but anyways, what do we got for width on these? 36th width versus a 27 width. This one is a bit cheaper. This one's a 15 width. So we're going to start with this one really quick. We're going to go buy this one. We're going to lease it. And then we will most likely sell it pretty soon after leasing it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I reattached. My bad. All right. Really quick, though, I'm going to go put this tractor away. And then we're going to grab the 8400. And we're going to take the 8400 to pick it up. And then we're going to spray. Actually, no. Wait a second. We're not going to spray first. We are going to... Ooh. Actually, no, we don't need to spray first because this guy plants fertilizer as we go. This one plants solid, I think. Solid fertilizer as we go. Let me double check really quick. Hook her up. Yep, we'll be good. All right, so we're going to use this guy. I'm going to hire a worker out while this one goes. Um, but we're going to set this one to soybeans. Actually, let's check and see what pri crop prices are really quick. Because um, it'll, like, it'll be about a day away before I harvest these because I'm going quick right now, guys. Um... Soybeans are still the highest. They're not great, but they're the highest. All right, so we'll get a soybean harvest going here by next episode. Hopefully, we might actually do a fertilizer. We might actually fertilize it and then do that. All right, first, I'm going to lay my quick uh, line down um, because... Oh, there we go. We planting? Ah, there we go. We are planting. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay a quick line down over here because if I try and hire a worker out, the worker will just run into all those bins and everything, and it'll just be collisions and stuff. So let me finish two lines really quick, and then I'll get him going. And then I'm gonna, oh, jeez, I forgot that this guy is a. It's a good mod, but it's not quite like the best. It's a little little glitchy sometimes. Granted, it doesn't help with the way I'm driving. All right, so I think this should be enough length here that if I set up a worker, he can do it in a couple passes and hopefully won't run into anything. Hopefully. All right. Back her up. All right, workers. Show me what you can do. Who we got? We got a guy. We got Frank in there right now, guys. We got Frank in there. Oh, yes. There you go, Frank. You hit in the corner. I mean, you're a little far off the corner, but oh well. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Now we're going to pick up a sprayer, a small sprayer. I would be doing manure or something like that starting out with because, say, like, yeah, we don't have a lot of money. But the issue is we don't have any cows or pigs or sheep or cows or pigs pretty much that are uh, generating that for us. So we're gonna make our third trip of the video over to the case dealer. Thankfully, it doesn't only sell case uh, equipment, which would be a pain in the butt for us. What is the red on the map? I feel like the red is not good. We'll tab over in a minute and find out what that is. That might be, is that, that's not least equipment, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, there is ours right over there is our sprayer. Excuse me, everybody. Grain mills over here, too. And then I think the beginning of next episode, guys, we're going to be probably buying grain. Or buying grain. Selling our grain. What is that over there? We're going to check that out in a second. Hold on. Let me, let me see what, what that is over there. What is this? Is this a hoist? Oh, they have an outside hoist. Oh, look at the old thing. Oh, dang. That looks almost like an old Oliver. I thought it was at first. That's why I came over to it. OGF transports. It looks straight like UPS. All right, let's hop back in. Let's take this bad boy home. I think we have liquid fertilizer on the farm that we can buy from, so we'll snag that on our way back. Stop at this light here. We'll throw on turn signals. Alrighty, no cop, no stop. I mean, we stopped, but we went through it. Alright, everybody, look out! 
All right, we're gonna do a tractor passing, 70 miles an hour. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, baby. That is very, very sketchy. Look at that, these lights are lighting up everything. All right, so then, once this guy finishes, uh, it'll have the first stage of fertilization on it, and then I think I'll wait for it to bud up, and then I'll start fertilizing. Um, because let me double check, make sure we have three stage fertilization on so we can maximize. Yep. So we can maximize our outputs. And fertilizer right over here. I'm going to shut these lights off. I don't know why I have these ones on. Um, fertilizer. We got both. I think it's both liquid and... No, liquid fertilizer is not over here. Hmm. Let's do this. Take a quick drive, guys. I know it's around here. This is water storage. Um. That's another silo of ours. Silo pipe. You can buy fuel there. I'm telling you guys, we have liquid fertilizer somewhere around here. Oh, he's done already. Which one is this one? Uh-oh. Shut that guy off. Is this a uh, hay and grass mill? Shut that one off. That might be a hay or grass mill, so we might actually have one on site. I'm going to have to figure that out in a minute. But hold on. We need some liquid fertilizer. I swear we have some somewhere. Oh, guys, I don't know. I thought we had liquid on the farm. Let me swing back by here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Hmm. Let's check. <laughs> Let's check this. Okay, so. Okay, guys. I know it's here. I know you can buy and sell it somewhere around here. I know you can create it also, but that's not what I'm looking for. All right, you know what? We're just, we're all find out later. I'll probably have to go manually refill it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, let me check over here and see if this guy's got this, this thing done already. Oh, wow, okay. Well, it looks like our boy Frank over here missed a little bit, which I might go cover back later, but other than that, Frankie boy got it done and we're gonna leave it at that guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe if you guys don't subscribe yet Next video we are going to be doing fertilization using this small little sprayer right here. Who's this sprayer by is this ants? Amazon 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 whatever you want to say it. We're gonna be using this little guy. It's a 15 foot sprayer. I'll get it filled up soon um, but we're using this guy and then we're gonna be fast forwarding through it and we're gonna be getting Some good soybeans going we might harvest we might not I think I still have to buy a header for soybeans. No, no, no. I have a, we'll have to buy a header for corn. I have a header for soybeans. But next episode, that's what we'll be doing. So stay tuned, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see everybody in the next Farming Simulator video. See you guys. <laughs>